Hi everyone and welcome to Mrs D. Thank you so much for joining me here today and if you are new then please do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions about any of the content that I'm making then please don't forget to leave a comment below. So today we are going to be looking at the world of Amazon KDP. I'm so excited about this one. So many YouTubers out there have really, really huge claims about the money that they are making by producing low content books. So I've already uploaded a notebook and also a child storybook. They're still currently under review, but today I'm gonna take you through a step-by-step -step process on how you can create a low content notebook as well. So you can start making the money also. So today I will be using Canva, I will be using Book Vault, and also obviously the Amazon KDP website. If you're interested in any of those, I will leave a link below in the description so you can simply click through and get yourselves going. Today I'll be using all the free bits of Canva, but there is also a pro part. And Book Vault is a free free day trial if you click the link below and then it's a monthly fee. So you can simply get out as many books as you can within those few days and honestly it's so quick and easy, it will not take you long, you'll be able to get out a lot. Anyway, let's dive right in. So first of all, let's go over to Canva and Canva is really incredible. So basically you can type in notebook. That's what we're going to be creating today. We're gonna to just do the notebook cover and it's gonna bring up so many different options. And then basically we can personalize these. So here we can see, you can actually do a lot of these ones for free. So the ones with the crowns, you do need the pro version. Pro does give you a lot more options, um, but you can, you can do great things with the free ones as well. So let me just take a look through. Let me see if I can see anything that I particularly like. So I'm just basically taking a scroll through just to see if there's anything here that will catch my eye. Oh, okay, so I really like this one just here, um, but I can definitely do a bit of editing. So as you can see, this is actually a Canva free notebook. And here it gives us some other options. But actually, I think I really like this one. Yeah. So I'm gonna use this template just here. And then I just need to, so firstly, I'm gonna take that off. I don't want that section there. I am going to resize to six by nine, so 12 by nine inches. That is so that that's now my front and my back cover, basically. I'm then gonna just add on all my rulers, guides, and margins. This just allows me to see what parts are actually gonna be included within the design. So here we go. So this is basically our very, very basic notebook. So I am going to add in an element. add in this and then in here I'm just going to type in notebook let's stretch that out a bit and then we can play around with the fonts and the sizing and the placing but literally so you can do this as quickly as you like or as take as long as you like over it really like this writing I'm basically I'm aiming this notebook at perhaps a 14, 15 year old girl. So I think that is pretty good. Yeah. Let's just move that over to here. 
So that there, that's showing me where my center line is. So I am going to come over to around about there. It's my center line here. Yeah. Yeah, that's about right. So notebook in there. And now I am going to have a look and see if I can find something like fairies. So she's really sweet. So I probably would have added these kind of fairies. Um, however, as I said, we're going to keep it free. So, so this fairy here is really sweet. Trying to make her, yep, so now she's lined up underneath there. And then I'm going to get another fairy for my back cover. And that's it. I'm pretty happy with that. And actually, look, if you can see, it's quite hard to see. She's actually got a bit of fairy dust coming off of her. So, and then from here, I'm simply going to download. I'm going to save this as a JPEG. There we go, and that's downloading. And then here I'm going to come over to Bookbolt. I'm just going to log in. Again, I will link Bookbolt below as well, so you can click on. You do get a free three day trial, and then after that, um, there is a monthly fee. And then once you're in here, I change that to create and then go to book bolt studio oh so this is my last one that I've done let me get project and go new project right so new project cover and interior I'm gonna call this a fairy notebook it's six by nine inches, black and white interior with white paper. You can go for something else if you would like. However, it does um, affect the printing price. And then I'm simply just going to add in 100 words. And I'm going to go for bleed just because it creates a nicer finish. And then create project. Okay, so now I am going to insert my cover over here to files, my uploads, I'm going to upload a file, this one, there we go and in it comes and then I just double click that and now I just need to resize it so it looks good. That's it. Okay. And that's my my cover done. So really nice and easy. And now I am going to do my interior. Like, so now this is on my interior and you can see here, so my paper color is set to white. I'm gonna simply design my first page. So page templates and it's a young girl so she could use it as a journal so I think I might add the top line and then the ruled but as you can see there are so many different types of things that you can put in so you can get really really creative with this reading lists reminders um, measurement trackers there is just so much on here that you can do okay so as I said I'm gonna pick the journal page I'm going to go for the wider journal and then I am going to go select all apart from the cover and here we go so now that will apply to all of those okay I'm just moving myself because uh, I can't hit the next button so there we go 
that's here this is if you want to change the um, margins and the lines things like that but I'm not too worried about that right now so I'm just gonna hit submit and that is it so that's done okay so now we've got our cover we've got our hundred pages and that's all ready to go so now I'm gonna come over here to project I'm going to download this project And this can take a little bit of time because obviously we've got quite a few pages. Okay, so that has now downloaded. So now we can head over to Amazon KDP. Um, I'm already, I am already signed in. If you haven't created an account, it's really quick and easy to do. And here it will just simply say sign up. You can log in with your existing Amazon account or um, or you can start a fresh one. However, it wouldn't allow me to start a new one with my existing mobile number. Therefore, I just decided to use my personal one. So here we are going to go into your account and I'll just show you over here. So go into your account and then you can go across to bookshelf. Here you can see the books that I have already put up. So I've done a ruled notebook, still in review. It actually takes about three days apparently for your book to go live on Amazon. But yeah, I was really happy with that one. That is something that I would buy. Over here is a children's book that I have written. So you can have a look at that as well. And that's also very simple to do. So we want to create a new book. So we're going to hit create. We're going to create a paperback. And then over here, I am going to call this Fairyland Notebook. And then I'm going to put line and say journal for girls subtitle is optional this is if you've got a series or an edition here I just put in my initials which is what I'm doing on all of them if you have any contributions which I doubt you will if you're doing low content books, but if you were doing something where you were hiring in an illustrator, then you could put their details in there. Now I'm just gonna quickly head over to Amazon. And let me just show you this. So going in here, I'm just gonna put in six by nine notebook. Here we go. This is really nice. See, it's very simple. It's just straight away. So I am going to copy that across. That is just a description there. Okay. And then I'm going to come over to KDP Editor. 100, but we haven't got blank pages. 100 lined pages with a small line for the date. Now I'm going to make it a bit better than what we have seen because I don't think they really represented. So I'm going to put a fairy land notebook ideal for journaling oh. journaling and making notes it's a very handy size to pop in your bag take with you ideal for 
girls, teenagers, who have a beautiful imagination. And that straight away just sounds, you know, so much better. What's that? Um, I own the copyright. And then these here are, no one actually sees these. So this is how people might find your book. So if they search, for example, teenage girl, notebook, journal, fairy, and I'll put land next to it, pink, orange, writer, creative. And that there will basically just show, show up. So if someone types in gifts for a teenage girl, then that will then come up, okay? Now we need to choose our categories. Now we're gonna go non-classified. Save that. It is a low content book. Does this book contain any language that's suitable? So no, it doesn't. It actually has no language whatsoever. And now I'm gonna hit continue. So this is now saving my book. We are going to publish this without an ISBN. Amazon apparently used to give ISBN numbers to books that were low content, however they don't now. You can create your own one, but I don't think there's any need really. Now we're going to set our publication date. So I will just select that as today. Now here is where I was saying about the different types of paper. So we are just gonna go for black and white, interior white paper, and that's going to keep our costs right down. Therefore, that will give us the bigger margin. We've gone for six by nine. I have done it with a bleed. And I'm gonna stick with a matte cover. I think in a notebook, matte tends to look better. However, for the children's book that I've written, I've gone for the glossy paper. Now this is where we need to upload. So I'm just gonna go into my files. So upload product manuscript. And now here we've got the interior. So I'm selecting that. Now that's uploading. Now this is where it can take a little bit of time. So that's uploaded. And here you can actually design a cover out straight in Amazon if you don't want to use Canva or BookBolt. However, I did try and use it. It was very, very clunky, very tricky to use. And I don't feel that you get the same kind of pictures and things like that that you do get in Canva. So I'm gonna hit upload a cover that you already have. Upload the cover. And here is the Fairyland cover. And it does say here that you must download it in a PDF. Save successful. And before you can hit save and continue, you must launch the previewer. This is just to, like a final spot check to make sure that you are happy with how your book is looking. And this is the bit that can take some time. When I uploaded the children's book, it took about 15 minutes, so quite a while. And it actually does come up saying, go make yourself a cup of tea, go and have a sandwich. So, you know, be patient, it will get there. Okay, so this looks like it's come in quite quickly. So we're going into our Fairyland notebook. So yeah, I'm really happy with that. That's good. So you can see it's this dotted line here where it's printing and then you can click through on the pages. So you can see here, we've got the little line for the day, the ruled paper and that will be it all the way through. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna click approve just over here. That's brilliant. And now that I've hit approve, oh, and this here, so this is the printing cost. What it's gonna cost Amazon 
to print. So $2.15 if you're in the US. I'm in the UK, so it's $1. Sorry, not $1. £1.70. And you've got your Euro cost there as well. So it can be available in all those different countries. So now, bearing that in mind, we're going to hit save and continue. And on the next page is where we're going to do all of our pricing. Now, don't worry that you don't need to you don't need to remember those prices. It's going to tell us just here how much. Now, I tend to go off the US dollars. It tells you here what's the minimum price that you can charge. So, I'll just show you. If you put in if you put in here $3.58, which is what it's saying is the minimum then we will actually make nothing from that so I'm gonna go in there and put in four dollars fifty and just see what that comes up with so that will give me 55 cents 65p I would like to just make that a little bit more I kind of think 399 in the UK is about right for a book so I'm gonna go for it four dollars sixty just over here yeah four pound one pence that's I'll just put that to 399 so you can manually go through and edit those if you would like to so here you can see this here is what I will make so this is telling us here that this is an estimate of how much you'll earn for each sale based on the list price royalty rate and deducted print costs. So 61 cents, 69p, 87, I don't know what the euro is. So I'm pretty happy with that anyway. And now we simply hit publish. Now that's going to save it. Amazon will review this. And like I say, that part there can take up to 72 hours. So here we go. Next, we'll review your book to make sure it reviews KDP's guidelines for book details, content and quality. If it passes our review, which can take up to 72 hours, be available. it will be available to be purchased on Amazon. If it doesn't pass our review, we will email you. During this review process, it will stay in review on your bookshelf. You can change your book details, content and pricing after the review is done, but you may have to resubmit your book to ensure you meet our guidelines. If you were doing something like a storybook, you can then also convert this into an ebook. Okay. So that's it plan is is to get on as many kind of low content journal books i want to create a little bit of a series around the children's books as well and basically yeah just keep going with that i want to my next step is to get this up and running as a kindle book so people can buy it for a bit cheaper and then i believe you get the entire profit from that as well so that's definitely something to bear in mind but I am so happy that I've already got three books on. As you can see, the first book I put on the 24th, next the 25th, and then today's the 26th. They're so quick and easy too. There is no reason not to do it. Even if you just get your free day um, book bolt trial, get that done. And before you know it, if you really focus, you could probably get a good sort of 10 journals or diaries out. There's other things that you can do on book bolts as well, such as puzzle books, things like that. And they're just as easy as a notebook. So if puzzle books, colouring books are something that you're also interested, then keep watching out on my channel, like and subscribe, turn on your notifications because I am about to create those videos and they will land straight in your inbox. Okay guys, so I really hope that you enjoyed that. I really hope that you learn a lot and that you feel inspired and that you want to go out and start your passive income journey now. So you can like and subscribe and here are some other videos that I think you might be interested in. I will see you all next time. Thanks. Bye.